What do I think about the genre now? Hmm. Okay, the vampire genre, uh, I'm sure you've all noticed, is growing as fast as, um, I don't know, it's like minnow season in the pond. Uh, I was one of the first vampire writers, not the first. I hope that when the tide goes out, that I'm still standing. Yeah, that's what I want. But if you want to throw a rock, you will hit a vampire book. <laughs> Am I pleased with HBO show? Yes, very much so. And I'm lucky enough to have met all the cast and, the, and a lot of the crew. Uh, they're all very happy to be working on the series. So I think that's a credit to, to Alan. Am I very familiar with Shreveport? Yes. Uh, I did my Christmas shopping here. <laughs> uh, once I was in Barnes and Noble and uh, shopping for Christmas, I guess it was about two years ago. And I told the, the guy who was at the desk, I said, I'm Charlene Harris, and if you've got any of my books in stock, I'd be glad to sign stock while I'm here. And he said, what are you doing here? <laughs> I said, I've got to be somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do come here and shop quite a bit. Uh, Paula and I make an annual Christmas shopping trip. It's kind of a big thing for us, and we, uh, you know, we come here and uh, spend a lot of money. How did you find that sort of interesting in turning your books into a TV series? Well, I found out because Alan's agent got in touch with my agent, which is the way this works. Sounds pretentious, but that's the way it works. So my agent called me, and uh, I had three offers on the table at the time for the Suki books. I had to have a phone conversation with all of the parties on one excruciating afternoon where I'm sitting in my office in Arkansas hoping my dogs don't work too loud and talking on the phone with people who live lives I can't even imagine. And uh, finally talked to Alan and I uh, just fell in love with him during our conversation and it was just really exciting. But that was like two years before anything ever was filmed. It takes an incredible <coughs> long time to write the contract. Then my agent has to go over it. Then after lots of amendments, you know, we all sign it. Alan, me, my agent, his agent. And then uh, he starts thinking about casting it. He wrote the first three episodes himself. And then the writer's strike happened. So uh, from the moment I heard, uh, talked to Alan, from the time the series actually aired, it was more like two plus years. So not a lot of build up during the first year and a half. <laughs> How did I find the character Sophie Stackhouse? Was she inspired by someone I know? No, she wasn't. Uh, but she was the character she needed to be to make the story move forward. And in fact, uh, as my daughter has matured, I see more of Sookie in her, or maybe more of her in Sookie, I'm not sure which. Uh, the name Sookie uh, is an old Southern nickname. Yeah, my grandmother's best friend was named Sookie. Oh, is there more to the, as Sookie lives on and you come in, than just the fact that Sookie has had Eric's blood? That's a very specific question. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm going to answer that one. <laughs> okay. Who is my favorite Sookie character in the Sookie series? Uh, I like all of them because all of them have a little bit of me in them, which should it's kind of scary to me with that. <laughs> um, of course, I, there are things I love about Eric. Um, there are things I love about Pam. There are things I love about Bill. You know, I've got to love, love them all a little bit. Oh my gosh. What screenwriter software do I use? All of them. I don't know. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, just nothing special. In fact, uh, I would, you know, probably 
He's a better poet. Well, I write more of our tea garden and wood garden books. If I had more hours in the day, I would love to revisit at least Aurora. I don't think I'll ever write any more Lily books because I left her in a good place. Yeah, uh, I would really like to write another Aurora book, but you know, I just don't have the time. Well, Suki go to Las Vegas. She might, you know. Ah. I, I haven't really made up my mind about that. Uh, it was a possibility until I read Laurel's new book, which is set in Las Vegas. I thought, well, I don't want to look like a big copycat. So, <laughs> so that, that damn Suki's chances of going to Las Vegas right there. What's going to happen with Dermot? Frankly, I don't know. Uh, I'll find out this book. <laughs> Well, I give Sam Merlot a girlfriend. Does somebody want to be Sam's girlfriend? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, he, got, he has a girlfriend in the next book. I have gotten that far. <laughs> How do I truly feel about Alan Ball's interpretation of my books? Well, sometimes I cover my eyes. <laughs> have a genius like Alan on my side. Oh, great answer. How did I come up with the name Long Tone? Well, I wanted a name that was kind of satirical, uh, and it seemed to me like calling a, a town like that Good Times, you know, would kind of let you know that there were going to be plenty of bad times there, too. Okay, I'm, I think I'm out of, I'm out of questions. <laughs> when is the next book of the Sookie Stackhouse series coming out? Do I all already know how the novels will end? Yes, I do know how the novels will end. I have known that since sometime after I wrote the first book. Uh, the next book will be out uh, May next year. If it's May, it's Sookie. Uh, right. Uh, the short story compilation that's coming out in the fall are all stories that have already been published. Uh, there will be a new Sookie short story featuring Pam and Sookie and a stripper girl uh, <laughs> in Tony Kellner's and mine's next anthology, which will be out, uh, I think, in June, March or June of next year. I'm sorry, I don't know the date. It's, uh, that anthology is going to be called Death's Excellent Vacation. Mm -hmm. I have two or three series going at once. How do I keep them all straight? Oh, <laughs> a lot of people would tell you I don't. Um, do I have conversations with my characters? You know, that kind of borders on the schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do have better ideas in the middle of writing the books that makes me change direction very suddenly. Um, my characters don't talk to me. Uh, I am the boss of them. Um, and I have a good time doing that. So as Paula can tell you, I have a great time almost all the time. Uh, I actually have two series going now, the Harper Connolly and the Sookie. Uh, this will probably be the last Harper Connolly. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I love Harper, but changing locales every time is I thought that was such a great idea because, you know, I thought, oh, great, I won't have to remember anybody. Well, the bad part about that is I have to reinvent the wheel every single book. So, um, though I've enjoyed writing those, I may not write them. But I'll write something else because it'll never be just, just so easy. Yes, I can tell you a little bit about the new Harper book. Oh, wow. Um, in this book, Harper is going back to see her little sisters. 